Yeah, Welcome to a Cherry A Day Media, where we bring you everyday content with no limitation on topics. We have a special guest here today, Bree Bree. What up, girl? <laughs> Bree is a special guest today, and she has a lot to talk about. Um, so many amazing things that she does. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me what it is that you do. Tell the people that all the amazing things that you have going on right now in your life. Um. Okay. So my name is Bree Bree. I'm CEO of my life, CEO of my lifestyle. Um, I have one business in particular that I just love so, so much. Um, it's definitely my baby in a sense that, you know, I birthed it. Like, <laughs> that's my baby. That's what I'm taking care of the most right now. And right. I'm just falling in love really with the, the progress and the process of my business. It's really glowing and growing in a very special way, mainly because of the purpose that it serves. Um, for me, I started it about two years ago, almost two years ago, um, because it was just so much negativity and like so much BS and hatred, you know, being spread and magnified in the world that I wanted to do something that was more so magnifying the opposite that people kind of forget about sometimes. Um, and that opposite is, you know, the inspiration, the motivation, the encouragement, the love, the light, and all the good things that still exist in the world. So like, my business is called Inspiring Habits. Uh, it's fire and habits only where, you know, we develop, we help you to develop and maintain the habits that will create the lifestyle that you want or to create the mindset that you want or, you know, just create the the better version of yourself that, you know, exists within you somewhere. You just got to bring it out. So um, I think that's that's what's very special about my business because we really do it in a very special way through like apparel, like we, you know, have a apparel line where it's inspiring quotes and things like that to remind you every day you know, to engage in that inspiring habit instead of those bad habits that keep the bad things happening. Let's do the inspiring things to keep the great things happening. So um, we have apparel, we have podcasts, we have social media where we send out different messages and things like that to just keep your mindset, to magnify the good that's still in the world that people often forget about. You know, the media doing enough for the bad. <laughs> we got to have some good too. <laughs> that's tell, tell me, tell everybody where they can follow you. I'll be sure to link everything in the description box, like your website, your Instagram, where they can find you, Twitter, Facebook, et cetera. Website, inspiringhabits.shop. Um, I'm on Apple Podcasts. My podcast name is Love Talk. I'm currently doing some new things with that as well that you'll be seeing coming soon. Um, my personal Instagram is Bree the Chaser, B-R-I-T-H-E-C-H-A-S-E-R. Um, then Inspiring Habits only Instagram as well okay cool do you say would you say you have a favorite piece right now what's your favorite piece in your brand like that you like right um, now this is my favorite i'm wearing this one all the time i'm just this is stuck to me right now because why and why is it it's your favorite right <laughs> oh my gosh all of them really are my favorite that's a really good question though because i have just about something of everything um I don't know. The one I probably wear the most is probably a hat because that's just so easy to like just throw on and just as that constant reminder, like, hold on, I have one right here. I only have a hat sitting right here. So I'm just because I thought about putting it on today and I was like, oh no, my hair looks good. Put it on, put it on, put it on, right. put it on. This is one of the hats. Um, and this is one of the brands where it's like, I'd rather be happy. So, you know, create those inspiring habits, you got to make a choice. And I always choose to be happy no matter what you're approaching me with, how you coming at me, you come at me angry, you know, you come at me with, some negativity, BS, reminder, yeah. I'd rather be happy. So no matter what you're coming up with, you're I'd not going to change happy. me. You're not going to change me. That's my favorite. Gonna... That's my favorite hoodie, too. I love I oh, really? that hoodie that says, I'd rather, yep, I'd rather be happy on there. And I honestly mm -hmm. feel like when I wore it, I see people reading it. And I honestly feel like when people see that, it kind of automatically, like, the way they kind of talk to you is kind of like, mm -hmm. okay, they can feel your vibe. Like, you chill. Mm -hmm. Like, you just like... I'd rather be happy. You know, I ain't got it's no, I ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, it's a vibe it, it has an energy already. Exactly. Like, the, just exactly. the name itself is energy. So, even if I'm coming to you and you might think, you might not know how I'm coming, you just reading what I have already on, you mm -hmm. you already can feel just off of that, like, all right, dang. The type of person I am and what the I have The type of person offer, I am, like, it, that's, it what really I, that's what I have on. The energy. Like, if somebody even have negative energy, they know not to even approach you because, they're not going to win in your area. Like, it's not going to work over here. You got to go over there somewhere. So it's, it's a right. way to, like, you can say a message without having to say it, without having to explain yourself. It does it all for you already. So that's why I love, I love the brand. <laughs> if, there's any, if there's any, if there's for the upcoming uh, new businesses, people that have uh, inspiration but haven't been able to take that, to make that first move to start their business, 
you know, because of fear or because of what, you know, the trends or whatever, what what advice would you give somebody that wants to start a brand or a business? Um, I would definitely say like, make sure you're doing something that you truly, truly believe in, you know, not something that you just want to make money at or something you just want to do just to say you did it or anything like that. Like you really have to have like a strong belief system within yourself and within what you're building because things, things and people may not, you know, agree with you. And if you have that strong belief system, you don't really need nobody else to have it. Right. (laughs) You got an audience out there that's looking for what you're trying to offer. And that's the audience you're trying to look for, whether it's, you know, your family and friends or not, whether they support you or not. So like, don't worry about the support. Don't worry about, you know, what level you're on within your business. Don't, I don't even consider myself a small business. I, I never have. Um, I can let somebody else call me that, but it's doing big things because it's doing big things through inspiration and the positive things that we need in the world. So I've never considered it that. So who I am and my level of awareness, you know, I, I definitely encourage you know, all business owners, whether you're new starting out or you're trying to figure it out, um, definitely have that level of awareness within yourself and what you're building so that you don't need anything else or anybody else but your belief and you just got that tunnel vision to, you know, bring your vision to fruition, for sure. Yep. And we we spoke on this before. Your biggest supporter is going to be a stranger, you know what I'm saying? Always, so always. Don't always. be trying to impress <laughs> your friends or people that you know and trying to think that they're going to see your vision it's going to be your strangers and everybody else is going to follow. You really have to zoom in and lock in because yeah. a lot of times things that might not make sense to some people, it's going to make sense to a lot of people. And a then a lot to... of times, in a sense of what you just said, it might not make sense to a lot of people. A lot of times it do make sense to them. It just don't make sense to them that it's coming from you. You know, like they didn't mm-hmm. see that for you. So they don't think that that's supposed to happen or that's really going to work out because they never that's saw true. you doing that. But you might have saw it all along. You know, you just were trying or to they had an idea to do it. And never had the guts to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, they never took that opportunity to do it. And it's low-key hate. It ain't going to work, you know? I, I I thought about it. And I had, you know, X, Y, and Z excuse. You know, that's why it's not going to work. So, absolutely. Absolutely. Transition into what I had a, I had a, a podcast just I just dropped talking about relationships. And we were mm-hmm. talking about oh, it. Oh, gosh. And, yep. And you were telling me, you know, you had some different... Had to take a sip. Soon as you say yeah. relationship. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to kind of give your opinion on some of that. And yeah. one of the one of the topics that I mentioned was do you have any rules in relationships? Is there something that you like you <laughs> feel like this is a rule when dating me? You would you call it a rule? Or would you call it a preference? Like would you call it like I would prefer um, this or you can deal with this person, but this person needs to know this is what you this is a rule about you and this is something they have to accept. Like this is it. I wouldn't necessarily say a rule, but yeah, a preference to, you know, just things that I connect with, you know, it's just, it's just things you got to come with. And I really don't connect with the, What's the, the rules out here rule. in the world. I'm trying to Give think of why. First of all, come secure. Would you consider yourself a traditional woman? Like you believe in the, the gender roles kind of thing, like a masculine, feminine thing, or you no. like, you meet 50, 50, or you like. No, absolutely not. I think it's different in, so- it's different shows for different folks. Like, I might have been 50 50 with one person in the past, but then I went with this other person and it's not like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it depends on who I with. It depends on the person. It depends on the relationship. It depends on the bond. It depends on, you know, both of our preference because we got to merge. You know, we got to connect. It can't just be all on one or all on the other. You know, you bring what you bring to the table. I bring what I bring to the table and we figure out how we're going to eat it. Like, <laughs> how are we going to cook that shit or how are we going to eat it? That's, we just figure it out. So it just depends on the person with that. My rules is really. I'm I can I'm really a very understanding person. Like I can understand just about anything. I just just don't lie, don't be insecure, and don't be coming over here like God ain't seen you. Cause <laughs> listen, we're, we're water signs. Like we are really good at reading energy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Very intuitive. Yeah, listening to our yep our intuition, following that, mm-hmm. understanding stuff just based on how somebody's acting on how they just how they approaching things. Like paying attention awesome. to the details. All right, I'm going to ask you this because I had this uh, this question too on live yesterday. And um, the question was, is there amount of time, like, this oh, one woman, <laughs> let's take a sip, let's take a sip, let's take a sip, let's take a sip. So this one, this one, this one young lady that was on live, she is having a, she was having, she's having a problem with the woman that she's dating because the woman mm-hmm. wants to move in with her. She's known the woman for about 15 years, right? Um, 
in her 15. case, she known a woman 15 years, but she was married to another woman for about 12. Okay. Um, she's been recently divorced for a couple years. And her thing is the girl wants to move in with her. She feels like, because I've known you for a while, they've been dating for a few months. They feel like, you know, if she wants to move in, it's kind of like a deal breaker if they don't move in. And I guess my question to you is, is there a time frame with that? Like, do you feel like, do you feel like a relationship is determined, like a true relationship is determined on how well y'all live together? Or that's one question. And do you feel like if... <laughs> Is there a time frame on when you feel like when it's time to move in with somebody? Like me personally. Oh, yeah. Give, give me yours first. Yeah, yeah. I, I was like, let me let you think. I can see already, like, you was thinking about it. I was like, <laughs> me, me personally, it's, it's, it's a little different for me because I've been by myself for so long. Allowing somebody to move in is it's going to take some time. So say if that person is hasn't have never lived on their own before and they've only lived with you know, they still might be with a family member, you know what I'm saying? And then now you want to move with me. For me, I feel like I need to see you on your own, see how you are responsible, like in that type of way. So I can kind of like, you know, it's going to take time for me because I feel like when you yeah. so you see your own space, it's like ideally because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a lover girl. So ideally I want to be, I see it. I want that. I just want to make sure we do, we take our time. But a time frame, I can't really put a time frame like oh, it's gonna take 10 years it just has to like feel off that it has to just flow and we're just both ready we're just it's just going and like we don't have any burdens on each other it financially don't, it like you never met nobody worth moving in with to be honest <laughs> not to be the side communication <laughs> like a lot of things that's have to is, that's what yeah. it is it's just you you haven't met nobody where y'all was completely on the same page so once you move in it's harder to leave a relationship when you know it's over, you know, because you got stuff you got to separate now. It's like, it's harder to, to let it go. But for me, if it's like, I mean, if I'm thinking from my past, literally since college, every relationship I've been in, we moved in together. <laughs> literally every single one, even the ones that I had in college, like we were still in, we in the same room, same apartment, whatever, whatever. I don't know. That's just me. I do feel like you got to know how to coexist with your person, um, but you don't have to move in together to learn that. You know, you can learn that tendencies by just visiting their house and, you know, just spending that time together and just talking about it. If they somebody who have very open communication, because some people communicate in a way where they don't even know themselves. That they, they, they don't even know that they snore. They don't even know they don't like to do the dishes. They don't even know, you know, how to really coexist with another person. So if they if, snore, that is they a don't, thing. People don't know that. <laughs> Yeah, they don't believe I it. I am like, yo, if you're snoring to the point where it's I can't sleep. Though. I mean, listen, okay, listen. Because I feel like it's a health thing. It's not, you're not sometimes. breathing. You're not sometimes. breathing correctly. Okay? Sometimes. That's if not all the time. you're waking me up. Okay, yeah, not all the time. Because I know I we yeah, all it's, snore at it's some point. Especially if you're sick. Thing. Sometimes people just sleepy. And they just sleep that yeah. hard. Yeah. But why is if it's such a if you part a noise, of sleeping, why does it matter that somebody is snoring? Like why if you sn you must be a snore. You're a snore? Snore, but I totally <laughs> understand it. Like I I be getting stuff. Like I just get it. Like if you just a snore, all right, it's not a health thing, that's just how you sleep. I'm not gonna be ah, oh, you can't wake me up complaining about something I already know that you do. Like So what's your, I, okay, I, all right, let's get into that. Let's get into that. Hold on, hold on now, hold on now, hold on, 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 hold on. Hold on. <laughs> All right, you meet a motherfucker. I need to know this. I need, I need, I need, I need, I need to understand it, right? So you meet somebody and they snore and they waking you up. How do you adjust to that? Which you know, what I'm saying, like, I'm sorry. I'm like, yo, I'm with, like, when my sister used to snore, we we shared the same room. We had low room, we had bunk beds. Somebody's But I'm waking her up, like, yo, and then let me go back to sleep, and then you go because I can't sleep because if you. You know what I mean? And it's in my ear. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, maybe you just not sleepy. I, you do oh, not want to <laughs> Maybe I'm not in the deep stages of sleep. <laughs> There's three stages, right? There's a couple stages. I don't know how many stages it is. You can't sleep, like, and you just up. So now you want somebody to be up with you, and you waking them up too. Maybe you just got you got something you got to. What do you do, Brio? What do you do? What do you do if a mother wake you up and they snow? What? How do you? How do you adjust to that? Um, right. Most of the time, if I'm being completely honest, I'm probably going to adjust their body to see if. I <laughs> If it's just the side that they sleeping on or... You I, up and you like, me move you a little I, bit. Yeah, okay. I'm over there like adjusting them or like moving them in a way that... So they can... I'm just trying to... 
Like it, it could just be like they sleep on their back, or it could just be they sleep on a certain side that's not that good. Most of the time, let me put you on your stomach real quick. Let me, you know, let me see. Or, or just, just come over here, lay down here, put you on your side, put you on. You know, and most of the time that works. And okay. but most of the time, I go to sleep. I'm in a deep sleep, so I don't really, I don't really care. That's what I'm saying. You probably just couldn't sleep, and it was bothering you that they was getting such a good sleep. No, no, no. <laughs> been sleep for three hours and that if that motherfucker snoring woke me up i'm like yo all right so what would you say caring. i don't know i don't be caring about most of that just treat me right bro and i i figure everything else the fuck I mean, out yeah. if you treat me right <laughs> and that's the thing you know, everything to, if, like, and that's your thing you snore right i, I, can, I, I can get right i can i can you know what i'm saying i might be a little grumpy in the morning you might have to hear my mouth like damn i couldn't sleep with your ass no, but snoring, you know what I'm saying? Like, are you complaining about that though? If the biggest problem yes. is a snore, I'm <laughs> complaining about that. I'm not gonna tell you I know that you snore. I, I actually about my wish business. that was the biggest problem. I actually <laughs> do wish that was the biggest problem. I wish oh, that was man, the biggest problem that <laughs> I've dealt with. Like, you know, yo, okay, your so if it's not the biggest problem, if it's not the biggest problem, y'all have other problems, then why are you including a snoring in a problem? I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Stop. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't. Oh, okay. Do that. Do that. I'm not. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna say this ain't working because X, Y, Z, and you fucking snore. I might keep that in my head. <laughs> I might keep that's gonna be in my head, but I wouldn't never bring that up. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause oh, that's okay. like that's something that you can't help. That's a personal thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. So, yeah. what would you say is the hardest part about dating? right now I feel like it's a lot of shit I, it's like, a lot of shit for real it, it really oh, is a lot of shit but mostly people have a problem with being honest and people have a problem with uh communicating that honesty and they just really not self-aware like they really don't know themselves or what they want yet and i think that's why you find a lot of relationships that just can't connect because some people aren't even connected to them damn selves. how the fuck they gonna help you connect to them like it's just it just don't work that way i, I have that problem where i meet a lot i'm so self-aware like it makes like i'm <laughs> It don't make no sense. So, like, I always meet people who aren't, and it just clashes. Like, they in- ended up being insecure or, like, um, showing that side of insecurity and not just, like, oh, and, you know, thinking I'm always with somebody else, but insecure in other ways. Like, oh, I talk. I-, I had somebody get mad at me by the way I argue because I was using words that they didn't know. And I'm just, like... I, well, I don't. Oh, really like argue. you was kind of being talk. a smart ass. Like you was like right. trying to like. Right, and I'm I'm not being that. Like this is just who I am. I'm just talking. Like it, it not even be big words because I don't even know big words. I'm not no English. I don't have no English degree. <laughs> but, like, what's a big I, what's a big word that you've used in an argument before? I've been <laughs> like yelling. I don't yell. Like I'm literally gonna yeah. sit calm and talk to you. You can be yelling mm-hmm. and I'm talking calm, and that can make them feel mad too. Like. I had people tell me I don't care about them because I don't, you know, do all that yelling, key in the cars and chasing after them and like uh, stalking them, going through the phone. I'm not doing all of that. I'm not, I just think going on, all this stuff to do. If I got to do all that, then you just need to go find somebody that's willing to do it. I'm not doing it. And if you're making me do it, then do you really care about me? <laughs> I want to say, I don't yell. I talk loud because I just said I don't yell. Okay. I talk loud. I have a loud like that's just my personality. Like I can talk loud, but it's what I'm saying. I'm not cussing you out. How are you though. saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm not cussing you out. I'm are just like, yo, fair? I don't understand why. You know, I might talk are you loud, fair, but or are you like fighting, like going hitting below the bell, or, like doing? No, 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 no. I know. Okay. I might just be expressing what I don't like, but it could be I'm, um, what is it? I wouldn't say aggressive. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, Passionate. Oh, come on, you know the big words now. Come on. Uh, what? um passionate for sure i'm very mm-hmm. passionate when i talk um abrasive mm-hmm. i can be okay. that's the word i'm looking for abrasive i, okay. I speak abrasively but i'm not a yeller though i'm not gonna yell at you like yeah i don't want to do I, I just speak loud because i'm passionate about it and it means that to me you know right um let right. me ask you this too do you feel like two different personalities <laughs> <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Do you feel like two personalities can work in a relationship? Two like different, like if I have two one different type of like somebody that's like a, a more of an introvert, somebody that's like maybe you know an ambivert. Yes. Okay. That should be like the best relationship to me if that person is secure, because I can be I'm kind of both sometimes. But like if you are an introvert and I'm an extrovert and we go out and like 
you and your little introverted mood or stuff, your little social anxiety or whatever you got going on. But I'm over here like meeting new people, having, oh, getting shot is going on, having a great time. And you like mad that I'm giving my attention, you know, spreading my attention around and that's an insecurity. So that, that could not work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If they don't let you be yourself and they're not okay and comfortable and let you be comfortable in your skin, then yeah, that's not going to work. But if y'all have an understanding, y'all develop that understanding with each other and you know the intention behind things is just like not to cause no hurt, harm, and danger to y'all in your relationship. And I think it can work. It could always work. It can too. I feel like if you really yeah. want it, you just you like to work, any, it's gonna work. Any like in, in anything, even if your personalities like are similar, I feel like right. there's always gonna be something different about you and another person. And it's gonna take right. that communication and you telling a person what it is that you like and what you need and, and for you to be, you know, in a healthy manner without you changing who you are, you know, right. Telling them what you, what you like and what you want for it to work. I don't believe you know? in changing and, in a relationship. You know, I don't yeah. believe in changing in a relationship. Dating right now, a lot of people that I've come across, they have a, they don't speak up enough. Like what it is that they don't like. Well, I would right, say a lot. The same thing there's some women mad about on day one, be the same things you leave for on day 100. I, I think that's what it is. People just be ignoring the red flag. But me, we're going to talk about it. <laughs> right away. I'm not, yeah, I'm just, I'm going to talk about it to try to like develop, not to try to stop you from being who you are, if that's like a part of your, who you are, your character trait. I'm just trying to, trying to develop an understanding about it so that when you are doing that thing that I don't necessarily like, I understand like where it's coming from or like why is that way or something like that. So I don't take it the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Because we can easily misinterpret something that we don't understand. So I try to get to understand it first. And then mm-hmm. not you pouring up. I know that's right. I'm going to try to get juice. to understand Put it some first. juice. Put some juice in here. Put some juice. Yeah, but if we can understand each other, then we're good. But if you're not even, if I try to I can just talk to you about it, like to get that understanding, and you like, Rah! like not even letting me like just communicate with you, like you got a problem with that, then boo. <laughs> what's more what, what's more important do you feel like looks or personality or is it a little bit of both are you like Girl. your personality's dope i can date you but you know or it's like do you have to be attracted to them physically like how they look and their personality or can you bypass you know a a, a look and just be like you know your personality's dope you treat me good me personally i feel like <sighs> I answered this. I answered this on the first time. Like I feel like mm-hmm. I had the first uh part on the first uh, video. I feel like it has to be bold for me. You know, yeah. I, off rip. I feel like because you don't know a person when you first meet them. You I meet them off of because damn, you look good. I mean, I want to know more about you. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm attracted to you. Now sometimes you can be friends with somebody and y'all might not even look at each other like that, and it just grows that way. You might not be attracted to them, and it could just grow in that way. But I still right. feel like I have to be, it has to be both for me. What, what, what's, how about you? How do you feel about that? What's more important? It's, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely going to be both. I think it's both for everybody. People can act like looks don't matter, but they do, because when you're in a relationship with somebody, and their y'all looks could be like a little off, and y'all be going out places, or they might even try to keep you in the house. They People can develop insecurities whether they thought they was confident or didn't have them at first or not. If they feel like you look, you know, too good to be with them, it's going to show. Like when anybody just giving you a random compliment outside, but they're not giving them one too. Or like, oh my God, you're so pretty, you're so cute. And they just like, well, what about me? Or like they just start feeling like I'm not even supposed to be with this girl. And then they start self-sabotaging their relationship because they don't feel like it's going to work out long term because what are you doing with them anyway? So definitely looks going to matter because just because of that factor, just because of insecurities, looks have to matter. It's not even because of nothing sexual or like waking up to you next morning. It's really about the insecurity factor that most people have that they act like they don't until they get in a situation where they got to show that <laughs> secure side or not. And then personality is definitely because you're going to have to have personality to deal with me because I'm a goofball. So goofball, it get yeah. weird. Yeah, it get, it get weird over here. So <laughs> <laughs> it get real weird. And I can be all over the place. And if you ain't got no personality, you're going to be looking at me like, this girl need medicine. You doing you know? too much. <laughs> right? Oh my god. Relax. Me oh I'm my god. Extra. Like what's wrong with you? All I that. You tell me I'm extra. And I just be like I'm not doing too much. You're not doing you, enough. How much you come, come over here have fun with me? What? Do you claim somebody that do you, would you claim a person as like your partner if y'all were only dating for a few months? Like but y'all say that y'all were together. Like, you know how, you know how I can be in this lesbian world. You know, we can be like, you mean motherfucker sometimes, you know, 
look, yo, you mind, like, this is what we're doing, and say it only lasts for five, four or five months, you know what I'm saying? So now Bro. going forward in your, in your future, you know what I'm saying? In the future, like, and you dating somebody else, and you just having that thing, and you, would you count that, like, you had that conversation, like, would you be like, yeah, my ex and I, you know, blah, 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 but would it just wow. be like, I don't yeah. know what ex is. Cool. Oh. I've, but I've, I've never had like those short term little play things. I've always had like a long term bond um, with somebody. But I don't Because if I'm being honest, like all of my relationships since college that I can remember, nobody ever asked me to be their girlfriend and I asked them to be mine. So, or like boyfriend. I ain't never had girlfriend, boyfriend. Because ain't nobody ever asked me. So, I don't have no exes. I don't know what you're talking about. 